the Princess of the Sea. Once upon a time, beneath the mighty roars of the waves of the sea, there was a world, a world unknown to the people of the land, their kings and even their wisest beings. A world so ancient and yet so magnificent that beholding its mere sight, even for an evanescent moment, could fill one's heart with everlasting joy and happiness. But to witness the astounding world was impossible, for it was imperceptible to the eyes of the beings outside, and anyone who boasts of its tales as an observer is merely being ludicrous, and you should turn away from them immediately. But not me, no sir, because I have been a part of this beautiful world for a very long time witnessing every little magical thing that has ever transpired. And today, I am going to tell you a tale from the very depths of this world. Follow me! You see, our King Octopius was the finest ruler in the whole world and did everything to keep Marble Land happy and prosperous. Things were going splendid. And the Fishesins were content. Add to that, the birth of the princess. She shall be called Kylie. Oh, how adorable was Princess Kylie. <laughs> her hair like the green seagrass, bright and luminescent, and her little eyes like pearls. <laughs> but the tides were about to change as the evil spirit of the sea, Fenara, who awoke from her long slumber, directed her gaze towards our world. Greetings to the great king of the sea, the mighty Octopius, and to her grace, Queen Marina. It is I, Fenara who has come to you bearing gifts for the princess. I've heard she is the prettiest being in all of the sea. Thank you, Fenara. She indeed is the prettiest. Then I shall see her at once. I am so excited to give her my blessings. Um, you know what? We're not exactly too comfortable with that idea. Your reputation precedes you, so... Octopius, you're humiliating me in front of your fish's ends. I'm extremely sorry, but a parent ought to do what a parent does. No offense, please. Oh! <laughs> None taken, King. None taken. Fenara wasn't going to take humiliation with a smile. That night, when the king and the queen slept, she entered the palace disguised as a fish and crept inside the king's room. Oh, you are indeed very pretty. <laughs> but what good is prettiness if you turn out to be a horrible, horrible person? <laughs> Princess Kylie, I present to you... Envy, pride, and anger. My three angels, they will grow with you as you grow. You will not be able to see them, but they will always, always be with you. Unless you find a way to stop listening to them, which I am sure will never happen. <laughs> Because once they take over your mind, it is not easy to get rid of them. <laughs> oh, bye! Huh? Hmm. Oh, no. Hmm. And so it turned out to be that way. As Princess Kylie grew, her attitude deteriorated more and more. That shell looks so much fun. You should have that. Give me that. But 
but that's mine. Don't forget I'm a princess. I shall have what I like. Nancy? Where is my tiara? I gave it to you, Kyla. That's no way to talk to a princess. Show her her place. Oh, really? So you think I am forgetful? No, no, that's not what I said. I, I'm sorry. I will look for it right now. No need. You're fired. What? Kylie, Night Wave from the Pacific has come to meet you. Hello, Princess. That's just an ordinary night, Kylie. And you, you're a princess. And you shouldn't entertain anyone but a prince. Ah, hello. Are you here for alms? Kylie! Mother, please trouble me next when there is a prince here, not some ordinary knight. Yes, the little baby princess, with hair like the green sea grass and eyes like pearls, didn't quite grow up to be as her parents and the fishesins of Marbleland had expected. One day, when Princess Kylie was out with her friends playing Catch Me If You Can, the group unknowingly drifted a little too far away from the palace. Princess Kylie was the catcher and she chased after her friends. As the princess went after her friends, suddenly she caught sight of something. Something that glowed from the surface of the sea. Curious, she turned towards it and began to swim across to its sight, not knowing that she was drifting further and further away from her friends. What is that? As she swam, she felt hypnotized and drawn towards the light. So much that she did not notice the edge of a rock and... Ah! The princess at once fell down, unconscious. That's when from the glowing light emerged a being. A being radiant and sparkling. She was the soul of the sea, the fairy Benina. So, it is what I had suspected. You're under the influence of Finara's evil spell. Under the rule of the sea, I cannot remove a spell that you've carried inside of you for so long, but I can help you overcome them. I give you generosity, kindness, and humility. They shall be with you, guide you, and try to show you the correct path. But to listen to them rests upon you. Be well, princess. Huh? The princess? Princess Kylie, wake up! Huh? Um, what? You? Where am I? You're in a place that's not very safe for a princess. Are you all right? I was playing with my friends, and there was, there was this bright light. Oh, I don't feel so well. Oh, let me take you back to your palace. Come. Really? He is going to take you home this plain night? You're better off alone. Hmm. Why would I? You're not better than another because you think you are. Greatness lies in being humble, not in arrogance. Um, actually, that would be very kind of you. Thank you. But why are you helping me? I have been nothing but unkind to you. As a knight, it is my duty to protect people who are in need of help. So, did you find your prince finally? Not yet, but I shall, soon. My best wishes. Thanks. <sighs> ah! Princess, what is it? I'm sorry. 
I cannot swim anymore. I, I need to rest for some time if that's okay. Of course. Are you hungry? I am starving. I will go get something for you to eat. Will you be all right? Mm-hmm. As night waves swam away, Princess Kylie realized how mean she had been to him. She felt horrible. Nightwave returned after some time with a sea apple. Here, that's all I could find. Sorry. Looks delicious. You must share it with him. Remember, great satisfaction comes from sharing with others. No way. We're not sharing our food. Do you understand? Do you understand? Here, have this. Um, but you're so hungry. Aren't you too? Thanks. When Princess Kylie and Nightwave reached the palace, they found the king and queen very worried. Where were you? We have been anxious and worried. Princess Kylie told everything to her parents, who were very thankful to the knight for bringing her back home. Oh, it was nothing. I just... Hi, you must be Princess Kylie. Um... Oh, <laughs> we almost forgot. Kylie, this is Prince Gulliver of the Atlantic. He's here to meet you. Oh, and I'd be glad if you came with me to visit my kingdom. It's the grandest and the most beautiful palace in the whole world. As he spoke, Kylie realized there was something she disliked about Prince Gulliver. He spoke haughtily of his grandness and riches, and for some reason, that annoyed her. I guess you found your prince, huh? Kylie looked thoughtfully at Wave and remembered how absolutely sweet and caring he had been. Prince Gulliver, please accept my apology, or I will have to turn down your invitation. And also, I don't want to get married to you if that's where you are heading. What? Why? I am the Prince Gulliver of the Atlantic Ocean. No other prince is as rich as I am. Well, I just don't feel riches matter so much. Huh? What? I'm sorry. What are you doing? He said he has the grandest palace ever. No, Kylie, you're right. Kindness and love is worth more than all the riches of the world. How dare you dismiss me in this humiliating way? You'll pay for this. Ah! Hey, don't you dare. Huh? You're just a lowly knight. Maybe. At least I know how to respect women. The king, who was watching everything silently, now intervened. Prince Gulliver, you may be the Prince of Atlantic, but don't you dare come near my daughter or else I will not think twice. Guards! Princess, are you all right? Wave, you know, I don't like Prince Gulliver. I like you because you are so good and kind. And as soon as she had said it, the gifts of the evil sea spirit Fanara spouted out of Princess Kylie and dissipated in the air. What? Impossible! Fanara! Huh? I had sent you to a long slumber because of your misdeeds, but you haven't learned to think. Therefore, I put you back into the prison of sleep. No! And so, Princess Kylie became a warm and kind person that she was always meant to be. Wave 2 had fallen in love with her, and after a while, they were married. Very benign as gifts, Generosity, kindness, and humility stayed with her forever, always reminding her that staying humble and being kind and generous does not just help others, 
but also oneself. Oh, and who am I? I am the Kingdom of Marble Land. <laughs>